Pfizer is starting a phase three trial for a vaccine that would protect against Lyme disease. And KSBY News reporter Delaney White spoke to a doctor and also locals about their thoughts on the development of the new vaccine. She joins us now live with more. Delaney. Good evening, Nina. I spoke to visitors from across the state of California and most had not heard of Lyme disease. Some are encouraged by these advances in modern medicine, but others are skeptical of what seems like many new vaccines being tested at once. Pfizer has entered phase three of a clinical trial to develop a vaccine called VLA-15 for Lyme disease. As of right now, there are no FDA-approved vaccines for Lyme disease. The last treatment, Limerix, was pulled from the market about 20 years ago. When you get to a phase three trial, that means you've had some very good evidence in humans that it is effective, probably, and safe. Dr. Brian Roberts explains Lyme disease spread to humans through the bite of an infected black-legged deer tick. The disease affects more people in the northeast and upper Midwest regions of the country. Occurrences of Lyme disease are rare in most counties here in California. Many cases of Lyme disease present in the state are the result of someone visiting a high-risk state and being infected. Most Californians I spoke to say they have never heard of the disease. No, I've never heard of it, actually. I'm not too nauseable about it. Uh, personally, don't know anybody with Lyme disease, so it hasn't affected me too much. I've never heard of it. Very few people we spoke to know someone in California who has had the disease. I know someone for a fact came down with Lyme disease after she cleaned her storage space and that storage had been locked up for three, four years and she got it, got deathly ill. Dr. Roberts explains this vaccine would prevent people from getting the disease. The disease can be hard to diagnose, but a telltale sign is a bullseye rash that appears after one is bitten. One of the things that's interesting about Lyme disease is, as I said, it's more common in kids and that probably has to do with the fact that the tick has to be embedded in you for three days. Visitor Rachel Garza says the new vaccine developments are hard to follow. We've just been done without any type of vaccine at all and just nowadays it seems there's a vaccine for each thing that's coming out. So it's all new to us and so that keeps us skeptical about things. Others are excited about the rapid developments in modern medicine. I think that's great. If they can do that, if they can do it for any other kind of disease, why not? Pfizer says they could potentially submit a vaccine application for approval to the FDA by 2025. Reporting live in San Luis Obispo, Delaney White, KSBY News. Right, Delaney, thank you.